The Indian football team beat the Green Eagles of Nigeria 99 goals to 1. If you have never heard of this historic match, then you must belong to the Indomin generation in Nigeria. But before we dive right into this topic, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Indians were banned for scoring too many goals against the Nigerians. They were accused of using black magic, voodoo, against the Nigerians on the football pitch. One of the Nigerian players said, each time they needed to kick the ball, they noticed a ball of fire. This drew them back when the Indians attacked them more intensely. Peter Ofai, who should have saved the day, stated, each and every time the ball approached him, he saw a lion instead. The players on so many occasions complained to the Algerian referee about the situation, but the referee rebuffed them and ordered the match to go on. This would go on and on until the courageous Nigerian striker reached the lion's head and kicked the ball into the net. The ball was said to have turned into a stone just before he kicked it. It was said the striker dropped dead immediately the ball touched the goal net. The striker's death ended the match right away on that day. The striker's name was Samuel Oparaji. However, FIFA banned Indian for the adoption of black magic to manipulate the international match. A match played in 1970s should have a record because 1970 is not 1870. No one could tell when this match took place. No time, no date, no place. It was not documented in any form. Someone apparently died of a heart failure on August 12, 1989 during the FIFA World Cup qualifying match against, against Angola. This proves another flaw in the story. Whosoever pulled this taunt of a story succeeded in getting so many people food for so many decades. This story is obviously not true. It is fake. It is a myth. Thanks for watching.